Temperature feels good, weather feels good. I think we're in for a bite. Hi everybody and uh, welcome to another episode of the River Vlog. A mate of mine joined me in a trip to Belgium. We fished two spots, uh, one in a more natural environment and one right in the city close to a nuclear power station, warm water outlet. And uh, yeah, have a look and check this out. I hope you like it. Yes, we arrived. <laughs> Belgium. Land of the French fries, Brussels sprouts, and very nice beers. Got my mate with me. Got this great looking spot here that we're gonna explore. <laughs> off on his spot he's got a great spot he's fishing a, a swim uh, between two islands looks really good there's uh, really shallow areas with the weed and there's all sorts of uh, depths so yeah looking really good and uh, yeah I've got this spot next to an island as well a little bit upstream from Bart
white knight, unfortunately, except for a mega catfish. Had to cut the uh, cut the hook link. I wasn't gonna get that hook out. I've had enough sleep, so it's not happening here. It's gonna be happening somewhere else. So, uh, just see uh, when my mate wakes up. I heard he was on the water last night as well, so he must be uh, tired as well. We're no spring chickens anymore, eh? Not to say we're all farts. But anyway, I'm gonna make some coffee and um, get organized. Catch you later. Time to move. Um, we're gonna go near to the city of Namur to, and have a look around there. So, just reeling in the last, last rod and picking up Bart. I don't think you need spare tires uh, with this one. Oh, thank you very much, man. past six in the afternoon already so it's about time for an update um, Bart has already got his rods in uh, we've uh, we've landed on a very popular spot and uh, fortunately there's not a lot of uh, bivvies around but uh, and as you can see I'm in a bivvy so uh, yeah uh, this is right next to a, a nuclear installation so uh, the water here is about five to 10 degrees warmer than uh, than the water upstream uh, and it's a very popular spot for that uh, especially in the winter time but uh, yeah I hope uh, this will uh, bring us a good fish uh, Bart has to leave tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but let's see we'll take uh, one thing at a time Bart is fishing right in front of the, uh, the outlet of the cooling water and the water there is about 27 degrees. I'm uh, only 50, 50 meters downstream of him and uh, fishing quite similar to the way he is. Only put about um, two kilos of bait out, a uh, mix of tigers and boilies and uh, yeah all we need now is uh, is the carp gods to come and make us uh, happy. Yeah, there's six rods in between us, so yeah, it should be good. Um, yeah, but for now, time to catch some sleep, uh, but hopefully not for too long. Catch you in the morning.
my so. na- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say to that, yeah. mate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so so much can all be clicked to the wall. That's an interesting name for a boat. So I decided uh, to go home together with Bart uh, instead of staying another night. Um, yeah, I've got stuff to do at home. I need to prepare for the trip in Spain, Ebro, uh, which is in a, in a week's time leaving the Netherlands. So just wanted to show you this. Um, this was when we were, we were in the other uh, spots. Check out the damage to the screw. So, unfortunately, that's unfortunately that's another thing I'm going to have to buy uh, before going to Spain. But uh, it was all worth it. What an adventure! Just going to load up uh, the van now and uh, get the boat on the trailer and we're off again. It's a two hours drive. So, yeah. But I uh, really enjoyed this one. I hope you uh, liked the vlog uh, yeah so uh, the next trip will be river Ebro in Spain <laughs> oh yeah 19.19.6 kilos 19.6 kilos of beautiful Belgian carp with a bit of uh, nuclear power see you later